also a slippery roadway because of the rain, right? Yes, Everything that's, that's right. changing the forecast is... Mm, yeah, I just, I'm looking at some newer data coming in, oh. and it looks like it's going to get a lot colder very quickly mm. tomorrow. Mm. So right. as it, you head right. out the door tomorrow, you need to be ready to have more of the heavier jackets because colder air is about to move in. Got it. Mm -hmm. Yes, here it goes. <laughs> Let me show you first where we are now. We've been able to rebound in temperatures. Yes, still a mild day today for some of us. Still a cool day as we've had temperatures in the 50s across our northwestern areas. We've seen a little bit more sunshine for central and southern counties, although the clouds really begin to roll in quick for deep east Texas, leading to some of the areas of precipitation. It is going to be a mild evening for us. Some areas of light rain will be possible. You might see a brief shower, then it might let up, and maybe a little bit more might try to come back down. Nothing really significant. The more steadier rainfall is going to remain at times over deep east Texas, where another batch of more moderate rainfall is going to start to work its way into parts of San Augustine and Sabine counties. You notice here back through the Metroplex where it's much colder. They're also dealing with some additional showers here. We even have a couple of isolated storms working their way into parts of Van Zandt and heading over into Rains County. Nothing really heavy or significant on this. Just a few brief heavy downpours. That's also going to move to the northeast. I think we're going to see the precipitation gradually fill in over the next several hours for us. So keep that in mind. Look for the spotty rain showers to continue to be with us. And that's exactly what Futurecast shows. Yeah, maybe not widespread and very intense, but we will see mist and drizzle. Once that uh, sun begins to go down and darkness begins to roll in, that humidity is going to jump up, and that will lead to maybe even some areas of fog, too. So keep that in mind as we go through the nighttime hours. Tomorrow morning, we're still looking at some mist and drizzle, even though the radar is not picking up on that. But the stronger push of colder air off to our northwest. Notice how the rain begins to pick up. Even some thunderstorms with this during the day. There will be a layer of warmer air that's going to try to creep up from Toledo Bend, maybe up near the Texas and Louisiana border near the Marshall area. We could see one or two strong thunderstorms possible tomorrow. That will be mostly down to our southeast. More rain picking up with this front, and the rain will continue even behind the front as temperatures start to cool down. And we're going to see temperatures drop down tomorrow evening quickly into the 40s heading toward the 30s. We will bottom out into the lower 30s for many areas as we get into tomorrow. Look at the temperatures as they begin to fall. This is 7 o'clock in the morning. We could have some 60s, even some upper 60s possible, but where this front is, that's where the drastic drop in temperatures will be. Let's put this into motion for us. As we go during the day, temperatures gradually getting a bit colder. Look what happens into the afternoon. We're falling down into the 40s, still a layer of warm air over near Toledo Bend. That's why we do see a low risk for an isolated strong thunderstorm. But as we progress on into the evening, lower 40s, strong northwest wind, still some rain around. And as we head into Thursday morning, as the rain comes to an end, we're down into the 30s. But with the northwest wind, it's going to feel like the 20s for us Thursday morning. So let me show you this the seven day. We made an adjustment 59 in the morning, but falling, especially for central and northwestern areas to 44. 34 on Thursday morning, 48 on Thursday afternoon. A frost and a light freeze Friday. Then we're set for a nice weekend, but it will be chilly. And we still look at some more rain tonight into tomorrow. Deep East Texas warms up before you cool down, and the rain will come to an end Thursday late morning at the latest. I find it refreshing. Yes, I do. Sure. Thank you. Okay.